So after finding them, I spent a few hours. I didn't go to bed till way early in the morning, but um, trying to figure out how could I find out if my dad had any more kids. There's nobody to call. You know, there's no one left to call. Um, that's basically it. I don't know what to do. Now, if I <clears throat> use the uh, sites that I've used in the past to find people, I don't, in the past, it usually just mentions, um, like, the wife or husband, as far as relatives go. So I don't think that's going to be helpful. And it's going to, for that, for that search, it's going to be about 50 bucks. I've done this already twice before, and I got lucky on those. Those actually did have quite a bit of information, but the other ones that I did, um, no. It just told the people that I already knew. <clears throat> so, I don't know what to do. There's no one else to call. There's. It would help. I don't even know where he was born. Why did I not sit down and say, Dad, tell me, you know, all the relatives that are alive and, and where they're located, and what's their number. I, we didn't do that. We spent time getting to know each other and just getting to know each other, meaning like, you know, he told me what kind of things he likes to do and, and you know, shows that he likes to watch on TV, and just, just things like that or different experiences that he did. And then I told him about my life, you know, I was trying to play catch up, tell him everything I've done. And then we just, you know, Enjoyed our company, you know, drank and laughed and cut up about, you know, things that were happening then. So, because I thought there'd be time. You can't waste that precious time. But if I had, you know, as you've seen, I kept every letter and every uh, birthday card I've ever had since the age of 12. So I would have still had it. Oh, also, I did find... Uh, my dad's wife. What do you, when a person dies, do you say that that's their wife or ex or what do you say? I say wife, you know, even though he's dead. It just seems kind of weird. Is it, would it be ex wife? Because they're not really together no more. But anyway, uh, I uh, found what town she was in. What I used was the white pages and then it said, you know, her name, his name, the places that they lived. And so I knew where they lived, and so there you go. I knew it was her. So I gave her full name. So I used that in Facebook, found the person in that town, the only one, and then I wrote to her, and it took, oh, about a week or two before she wrote back, and she said, I'm sorry, but um, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm not the woman you're looking for. Well, I think it was actually her, and... Um, my cousin said that she's not a very nice person, but I knew her for a month, and uh, he asked for like my dad's hat, and she wouldn't she wouldn't give it to him. When a person's like that, and won't give, you know, relatives who are blood stuff, uh, I guess she was gonna give that stuff to Goodwill or something. Uh, so maybe she wasn't nice. Maybe I don't know. I, I don't have no information to go by, but she was nice when I knew her. That's all. But then she looked. She said she was. It wasn't her, and I know now it was. Oh, I know it in my heart that it was her. And then I decided to go search for her again, and she's gone. I had checked months later after I talked to her, and she was still there. But that was two years ago, so like two thousand and ten or eleven. Yeah, 11. So, uh, why did she lie? Why did she say it wasn't her? Would Come on. I'd be like searching for me in this town, my full na name, and what's the chance there's going to be another person with my full name here in this town? There, It isn't. So that's why I know it's her, but uh, now she must have blocked me because I don't see her. So maybe she's afraid I want to hit some of his stuff. I don't know. Maybe he got some, he ain't got some, no, he wouldn't have no life insurance, no. Not that I'd think of. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anybody got any suggestions? Because I really don't know where to go from here. But I'm ready to get, I'm ready to do it, whatever it takes. 
Because if I have a brother, oh my God, my lifetime dream would be awesome. I'd go see him. Oh yeah. I would go on a plane, a train, car, whatever needs to be done so I can go and see him or her. But uh, <clears throat> other people that are farther away, if you're watching, uh, you have to understand that I really have wanted to have a brother for so long. Um, I had just sisters, you know, not a whole lot in common. So, God, I, I want so badly to find them. All right, you guys have a good one. Take care. Give me uh, any suggestions in the comment below if you have any. And God bless.